Hello everyone, this is Venus Brown, and I am back with another episode of Heartstopper. This is Season 2, Episode 5. The episode is called Heat. So, yeah. Let's hope it's a lot hotter than the last episode, because most of that was just dreary and sad. I hope that it's not. True, yeah. We've had enough sadness this season. Let's get on with more happiness. Like the first season. There was so much happiness in that one. That and tension, but still. Oh, yes, and I think I had said something about my video editing problems because my technically it's a photo program that had a video editor updated and it no longer does. I was able to download their legacy, which is the old program, before it was updated. And that all seems to work. It's not a great one, but it's what I have space for on my computer. Like I said, when I get a new computer in a, I don't know, two or three months from now, I will be able to just load DaVinci Resolve on there and use that instead of this nonsense. But at least I have something to keep me going. They're still in Paris. Is that, did I do that? Yes, you did. Do you think anyone will notice? Yeah, they, I, yes, I think everyone they will. will. Yeah. Well, no, it's a lot less. I'm so Not sorry. Necessarily, I, but they probably I don't will. To. I, uh, I don't even know how to do that. To I it's fine. When I was a kid, didn't know before I did it. So. What are you two doing in that? Yeah, I did it on my arm afterwards, but that was too late. You, you will <laughs> be having words. <laughs> And I'm assuming it is definitely the wrong time of year for them to be wearing turtlenecks or anything. <laughs> like, and it's pretty high up there, so I don't think you can get away with a mock turtleneck. Yeah, but it looks like it's pretty warm. I blame Nick entirely. Who's was also involved. No need for the gory details. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Charlie Spring! Who gave you that hickey? Not hungry. Not really. I'll pack you a croissant. So if you get hungry later, you'll have a snack. Is it true James McEwen gave you that hickey? <laughs> Going down in reception like dark hair. Leave him alone. It's none of your business. Seriously, Thank it, it wasn't me. Well, no, I didn't know that. Oh boy, Ben, you need to get your shit straightened out. Stop stringing along girls that you don't give a shit about. Stop treating boys like crap too. Fire! We've all been having fun in Paris, but we thought this morning would be a good time to remind you why we're really here. Your French skills. <laughs> Charlie Spring and James McEwen. Oh, it's a Shut up, Harry. Nick Nelson and Ben Hope. Ah, uh, he's just getting all the luck. I, I don't want to go with Nick Nelson. I don't give a rat sauce, rude boy. Grow up. <sighs> Maybe the other teacher who knows that they have a bad history with Charlie should step up and say, hey, uh, we really shouldn't have these two together. But do you ever stop and think how you're actually making people feel? Come on, Harry, where's your basic human empathy? Do you think Isaac thinks it was me? He knows it wasn't you. (laughs) I want to talk about what happened at the Paris trip to proposal. Yeah, I kind of feel like we should have known it would have been a disaster after that. Darcy! You know that's not what I meant. First Charlie, now Imogen. Continue to pawn your problems off on other people. The mess you made is your you fault. There were either of them. Nobody else. You did. used Imogen for popularity points, and you didn't actually like Charlie. You just liked having control over. If I said I want Charlie back, well then fuck you. Get it? I was a dick back then, but I was dealing with my own shit. Charlie didn't even give me a chance to figure myself out, and then you came along and you stole him from me. That is just absurd. At least I was nice enough not to give him a hickey where everyone could see. You didn't get tickets for the lift. Is he talking about the teachers didn't get tickets or they didn't get tickets for the students? That's not cheap. Especially not for students and not have a lot of extra money. Okay, this is the most beautiful side. Please get something from the money. Okay. Smile. Is that hickey from you? What if it was? You jealous? <laughs> Leave him alone, lads. You've got your own problems. 
Did Harry just stick up for us? I kind of know what it looked like. That was the second time he stuck up for somebody. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Therapy. Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember if I got a good signal when I was in Paris or not. Yeah, I know a lot of times when I'm traveling, signal is very shoddy. It's only you certain don't places mess things I can up. get a decent signal. Name one thing you've messed up. The cinema day, my art coursework. I'm basically the reason you got outed last year. After you came out to us, I was talking to someone overheard and... But you know that wasn't your fault. We've been friends since the first day of year seven. On tell. Charlie. Cool. You like Radiohead? Yeah. I me too. too. Have you seen the Romeo and Juliet? It's got a radio head on the credits. Makes me cry like every time. <laughs> I was so shy. I immediately thought how cool and funny and kind you were. You were the only person I met that day that I really wanted to be friends with. Are you guilt tripping me into being nice about myself? It's gonna work out with you now. Even if you make mistakes sometimes, you're a good person who deserves love. Who are you, Charlie? Wait, isn't that for you, Nick? Oh. <laughs> To the Louvre. <laughs> if any of you gets lost, we will be leaving you here to get locked in. Sure. Wait, that's the Mona Lisa. It's rubbish. What? <laughs> Darcy gets off. And I mean, it's only really so popular. I know there was a statue I wanted to see. I was disappointed because they had it all like fenced in. It was so far away. You couldn't get even close to it. And all the pictures I had seen before, it looked like people were up really close to it. They had regulations that you couldn't take freaking pictures. Of course, everybody was taking pictures, but I got called out for having my phone out taking pictures. Well, we were there right around COVID. Well, this was really um, when we went to Italy. You don't always need to understand it to enjoy it. It feels kind of romantic. No, because this was... Yeah. I guess that's true of real life as well. It may have been Italy. It may have, have been... You understand your feelings completely to London. like something. It you may have been the Vatican. I can't remember. Always have figured everything out. I'm thinking it's something that would be in the Vatican. So... Feel. There were certain things that were blocked off in France because of, um, it's not really rioting, but it was protests. But they weren't protesting when we were there. No, I just love being here. <laughs> that statue, I was just watching a video about it. He genuinely thinks that he still has a chance of getting back with you. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, your mum's actually. Wow, okay. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding stuff from me. No. Never met your parents. Cause... I've never been to your house and didn't even want to say I love you back. That really out and proud thing. It was is just a casual I love you. Partially who she is, but it's also partially it like her covering stuff. You know stuff. I did. You know I do. <sighs> I feel like the teacher said, honestly, like, cover it up. Somebody get Mr. Farouk! It's so beautiful here. It makes me want to draw. You should. <laughs> you want to draw. <laughs> I love watching you draw. What if you just made a drawing and you put it in one of the picture frames? Basic. The building is just so cinematic. If you're not allowed to get you out of the loo, even if you're not... You can make more movies than... I can only think of the Da Vinci Code and... Da Vinci Code. If you wanted me to watch that actual monstrosity again. Oh. Come on, Tao. Oh, sorry. Wait. Let's just forget that house. You can force him to love you. Yay! I don't know how to do this. Me neither. Why? Yeah. It's all confusing. And I mean, just the social. There is no right. Yeah, but there's ways that are uncomfortable and awkward, ways that are nice, not so uncomfortable. Okay. And they're not acting all awkward. Or, but just be normal. Not as, yeah, not like they were after the date. I don't see it. Stand in front of it, I'll show you. I don't do poses. Yes, you do. Come on. <laughs> Another facial expression. <laughs> Mr. Farouk! Mr. Jai! Charlie fainted. What just happened? He's just, um, passed out. 
Are you sure you feel okay, Charlie? Yeah, I just haven't eaten enough today. I've noticed you uh, don't really eat a lot. I feel like you eat, eat less than you used to. You have nothing to be sorry about. I want to understand. Some days I'm fine, but sometimes it feels like the only thing I can control in my life. I still want to know if you're feeling like that, if you're having a bad day, or if there's anything that I can do to make things less stressful, cheering you up. I'm your boyfriend, Charlie, and I, I really care about you. Now we're gonna give you all the food. Eat it. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's a bit dry. I'm not rejecting the question that I have lovingly carried for you all day. Wow, this is so. That's my dad. Je suis au Louvre. On se voit cette semaine. À bientôt. Bye. Sorry about that. He said that. You speak French. Yeah. <laughs> like fluently. Well, my dad's French. Anyway, he lives in Paris. So. <laughs> hey. Wait, do you like the fact that I speak French? It's fine. <laughs> oh, you don't look like you're cringing. You look like you're blushing. No, no, by the side, you see. I had a boyfriend a while back that spoke Italian fluently, and it was definitely nice. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Not French, though. I don't think he spoke French. I could be wrong. Because I know he spoke multiple languages, but he spoke Italian very well. My dad wants to meet up today. Never mentioned your dad before. He's not really a big part of my life anymore. He's not the most reliable. He's still my dad. It's just hard to get in touch with him when he never answers my texts. We promise to tell each other when we've got stuff going on. Deal. When are you actually meeting up with him? I said I'd meet him in a cafe in 20 minutes. Well, better get booking. Charlie's like, I'll run you there. <laughs> All right, so that was episode five of Heartstopper. Pretty good episode. Glad Nick was there when Charlie passed out like that. I don't think I've passed out from not eating enough before, but I do remember my sugar would drop really low sometimes, and my legs would kind of get like spaghetti, and I'd have to sit down because I couldn't keep standing up. Yeah, I've gotten like that from being behind. Yep. I obviously enjoy my food. I have had issues, not like that though. My kids both, they've always been kind of low on the growth scale, but for the most part they've stayed on their growth curve and the doctor says as long as they stay on their growth curve they're alright. But they are like at the bottom of the growth chart for their age and height. They have gone below that point a couple times and then we end up having to get stuff like Ensure Plus that has extra calories and protein in it, get extra foods that are high in calories that aren't so filling because it's hard for them to eat very much because they don't eat that much. But it's not the same thing. As far as I know, according to the doctor, they are healthy. They just probably could be a little healthier. And it's always been hard to get them to find like foods that they like and foods that they're willing to eat very much of. Sometimes I like it, but I feel full even though I didn't eat anything. Right. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.